How about if you just take a nice, full, deep breath into your body and let it out. <sighs> Good, and do that again. Inhale. <sighs> oh, one more. <sighs> and then gently, ever so gently, close your eyes. And let your body relax in your chair. Soften your shoulders, your neck, your arms. You might want to just rest your hands on your thighs with the palms up and your feet flat on the floor connected to our beautiful Mother Gaia. And even though we have carpet and probably concrete and two by fours, not far from us is the beautiful ocean and the waves and the life of the sea and the softness of the breezes that that brings. And the way that that wraps us together brings together all of us into one beautiful family on this boat together. Moving in the consciousness of the energy and love of Cryon. This family, this day, together. You may not know each other from this life, but your souls do. And they feel that as they intermingle, intertwine, and prepare to receive the healing in the energy of the message. So take your next breath down into your heart, if you would. And let that soften and open and be ready, be receptive. Feel what is here for you as well as hear what is here for you from the entourage and the divine love of Cryon for humanity. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. 26 years and counting. I have been with my partner in this way. And this year, which we call year two of the new energy, he hears me clearer than before. Channeling may seem odd and strange to you. How does it work? Could it possibly be real? What's going on with my partner right now? Where is he? There's a beautiful system, dear ones, not hard, strange, spooky, a benevolent system that is natural and normal and belongs to you. Dear old soul, history is filled with it and you don't see it. Human beings have stepped forward with profundity and written songs that will last forever in your heart. channel directly from their higher selves and a source of the pineal some of the finest art that you can watch it's so good it seems to move it is so good profound it is in the same way we've told you that some of the most heartwarming scriptures that you would read from anywhere on the planet that are meaningful to anyone channel 
And anything that you would say came from God has come from men who have been under the influence and women under the influence of spirit. You might even say an altered state. This is what it appears to you to be. You say, well, it's a human being in an altered state. It's still a human being. They're still using everything that's human, but they're somehow altered. This is the bias you have. The idea that the human literally could step away for even a moment and let that which is from the creative source inside and speak to you with their voice and their consciousness does not seem right I say to you as you listen to this is it real or is the man in the chair making it up these are the things he had to ask himself when it started even with him for he went to a place that frightened him he thought he was going out of his mind for he had never seen this before how can you step away from your body how can you allow these kinds of things? And he wasn't very good at it. We would come to him with beautiful benevolent thoughts and it would be gibberish to his mind. It took a long time for him to translate any multidimensional message that came through a place in his brain that he didn't even know he had. And the reason I say this is because you are discovering the same thing. You're about to use places in that which we will call your brain, which it really isn't. Places that will be new. The brain is a facilitator of energy. Not everything originates from it. The things that come from the pineal did not originate in the brain, but they are served by the brain, and out they will come using the brain and synaptic thought and language. Didn't originate there. The brain, therefore, is the tool that allows it to be spoken, to be drawn, to be composed, to be carved channeling the connection to spirit that in an old energy has gotten a whole lot of people in trouble we know where we are if you open your mouth and you give a prophecy and then it comes true who are you are you a shaman or a witch and what happens to a low consciousness of humanity with that in their midst? It has indeed changed. And the change continues and we sit in this place and we tell you, dear old soul, that you are about to expand if you want to. I say it again, is this real or is the man pretending in the chair? Dear human being, it's up to you. You're either in your box and you're not going to let it out. You're not going to examine it. You're not going to give yourself permission because everything you've been taught says he isn't doing it. But if you would open the door, as we have said so many times before, and give it a chance to be real to you, you might find different. Let me ask you the big question yet again. Over and over, I ask this one. In all love and benevolence, is your reality limited to what you have been told and what you have seen? If it is, this is not going to make sense to you. For here is a man in a chair doing something natural and available to every human on the planet. Oh, maybe not to sit in other people, with other people, for other people, but for yourself. There is so much coming. 
You have come out of an old energy, dear ones. We'll call it old world energy. You have been in it most of your lives. Your parents, all of your ancestors, and it has been static, unchanged. We have told you before that if you look at human history, you will see a repeat over and over of the same energy. It never grew. It never got better. When one conqueror was finished, another one took over. One country was king of the earth for a while, and then another, and then another, and then a revisit of one, and then another, and another. And the system was so static that you even called it human nature. And this then becomes the model of your reality and what everyone expects. And so the old energy prophecies are still with some who expect the worst. Even though you have graduated and passed a marker significant in history to all the indigenous, known as the precession of the equinoxes and tracked for centuries, thousands of years, written and etched on the walls of pyramids in South America, Middle America, Central and North is the prophecy that you are in now. Yet there are still old energies that say you are doomed, it's going to crash, it's going to end. And I'm telling you, it isn't. I came in 1989 two years after the Harmonic Convergence. The Harmonic Convergence was an energy of passage, an acknowledgement of a turnaround of a new prophecy. When I came in, I told you there'd be no Armageddon, there would be no prophecy come true of the ancient scriptures that you had. I told you that Nostradamus represented an older prophecy that would never happen. 2000, the year 2000, when all was supposed to happen of doom came and went without incident. Against all odds, the Soviet Union fell over by itself, as we said, disarming the idea of the World War III that had been predicted. And still, there are those who will predict doom. You are looking at a consciousness shift and in the process there is negativity, darkness, there is confusion, there is doom and gloom, misunderstanding. We have explained it so many times, we even called it before 2012, we told you to watch for the darkness coming up. It would pull out the stops and give you horror. Have you seen any? We told you it was the last gasp. They, they didn't have anything left but fear. The conquerors had come and gone, if you had noticed. There's been 50 years where humanity has put together things instead of tearing them apart. The conquerors are now the minority, not the majority. Is it possible that human nature itself is beginning to adjust itself to a new paradigm? I will tell you this, if you don't feel it, ask the kids. Those of you who have grandchildren know they are not like your children. You know it. And you can look up in their eyes and see there is a grander and greater wisdom. Something is different. They figured it out. Many children are objecting to the old energy and checking out because of it. This is a change of consciousness we told you was coming. Imagine the confusion 
of leaders who only had one prophecy all their lives of doom and gloom. Are they going to drop it or are they going to readjust now that the new energy is here? What have they got to lose? Perhaps their reputation. You're going to hear the soothsayers for years. And at the same time, you're going to watch an earth change like you never thought it would. There are those who said, impossible. Look what is here. Look at the alliances of the countries. Look what they represent. Look what's going on. Crying, this is never going to get better. Well, I want to revisit this. I want you to go back 50 years with me. And talk then to some of those who said, it's impossible. With a Cold War raging, it's impossible. We are going to come to an end. You've got 50,000 nuclear weapons pointed at one another. It's impossible to get out of it no matter what you say. Cry on. Then you had the wild card. Something that nobody predicted. No one on the planet. No prediction. Said the Soviet Union would fall over. None. It's a wild card. Against every single odd, it happened. Dear ones, are you too set in your old ways to expect a wild card? All it takes is for one change of one consciousness of one leader to turn everything around. Consciousness is starting to shift. Peace is starting to be seen as power. And leaders want power. The wild card could be set up already. Someone you never thought. Someone being a political system, a leadership you thought they were a certain way and suddenly they see the propensity of the possibility of peace being their power seat forever. Can you imagine what would happen if they rearranged what would really give them visibility and suddenly there was a flip against all odds you would say a wild card you would say you already had one and you still don't believe in them perhaps instead of mass doom and gloom confusion you're going to have mass shock and surprise with another wild card these things are all possible in your future we talked to you many years ago about these times old soul we told you to get ready we told you it was coming and now it's here don't let the dark on this planet sway you see it for what it is look it in the eye and say to it you don't have a chance all it wants to do is take you backwards. You do know that, don't you? They're afraid of the light. There's too much peace going around. You can't have greed when everybody knows what you're doing. You can't have the mysteries when the secrets are being let out of a box on a daily basis. And they're afraid. Old soul, you are the one in the room. I am talking to you. I know who's here. My partner calls you drag along, <laughs> doesn't know your wisdom. Perhaps you're a drag along only because you never wanted to buy into any of these things that sound odd and strange, spooky, mystical, and weird. What about this? What about the logic of what I'm telling you and the history that you've seen and the lineage of peace? Would you buy into that? Could it be there's more and there's reasons for it? Could you buy into that? Without getting weird or spooky or strange, you can have spiritual logic and wisdom, old soul, that will take you into a place of knowing who you are. 
Is this real? Or am I making it up? Where is my partner now? What if I told you that where he is, he's gotten used to. He's liking it more and more. He's in a place where he is what I would call tethered. If you want to know more, he has written it. But even in his best way, he could never write it like it is. He is away from me. He's away from you. He is in a place that some of you have been many times. He's looking at light that he cannot go to because he's tethered. But he feels the wind of birth there. He feels everything there. There is no time there. He's gotten used to it. While he channels, he does not age. There's a multidimensionality within him that can be seen by those who are sensitive and can see colors. Is this real or not? What is your sense of it all right now? I close with this. It's not a mystery why you're here or why I call you old soul. There is no confusion about the benevolence of the love of God in your life. Everything you have been through is known by the Creator. This is the setup. There is a piece of divinity in you. You might even say that at a corporeal level, all through your DNA, there is angelic quality. It is the design of the human being's soul given to you by the Pleiadian who had theirs designed by the ones before them and theirs the ones before them. There is a system of creation of consciousness in this galaxy. We'll talk more of it tonight. And you are part of this and always have been. You may think you are confused and you don't know what's next. Maybe you even are floundering and it's only because you're starting to grow up. Do you remember puberty? <laughs> so confusing to get mature, to have thoughts you haven't had before, to have the hand of the Creator come and go quickly. You don't know whether to take it. You don't know what it is. You find, find maybe you're even frightened of it. That's the transition going on right now. But all through this, this benevolence is solid. We see what is happening on this planet far better than you do, for we see the whole thing. What's going on in the back rooms, the planning, the reactions. It may not get better. fast as you want it to but it will do not despair look it in the eye and know that time will take care of it all old soul with free choice that you have free choice to change human nature forever I'll be back and so it is